All right, um, you heard in the news lately that a Tesla Model 3 performance was disqualified. <laughs> yeah, oh man, there's so much foolishness. But anyway, so there's a video about this. Uh, check, please check the video description. Uh, there's a link to the video. It's worth watching it. Lots of useful info. Uh, also good entertainment. So uh, let me explain. So there was a, a Tesla Model 3 performance um, they participated in this um, uh, the global time attack at um, uh, Bottom Willow Raceway track and uh, it came second place there. Well, so far so good, but during the ceremony, the podium ceremony, someone protested uh, because they claimed that, you know, th like this car was, like, was electric, obviously, and um, it wasn't using the approved fuel. Yeah. So they disqualified him, and then whoever was in third place got to second place. Uh, so you know, that is just bullshit. Like, I, uh, I don't know how to put this, but um, so you know, the car is like the the car fulfills Model Three that participated fulfills the requirement like requirements except for that stupid rule about the fuel, right? Uh, so you can, if you compare this uh, with, for example, uh, drag races we had in the past, no car, I mean, no Tesla Model S, or mostly Model S, you know, but also Model X, no, no, none of these Teslas or I guess other EVs were ever disqualified for you know, not having the like, approved fuel. And also, we saw also recently about um, the Volkswagen ID R that raced on the Pikes Peak and set a new record. Well, it was beaten later, but at least it set a time. It was approved, everything okay, because it fulfilled all the requirements. Of course, it didn't have, it didn't use dinosaur juice. So I'm thinking, wh why? Um, like if, um, if let's say some car use, um, used like, um, uh, let's say used biodiesel or use some kind of like, um, you know, the, 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 fat, the, the fat you use to, uh, with the oil, I mean, the frying oil, oil nobody would care. They'd be like, <laughs> well, okay. But I guess if there is like some car that uses some magic fuel that performs better, then they will protest. And in this case, Tesla outperformed all of them. So that's why they had to protest because, well, I mean, why do they actually protest? I mean, is it because it's against the rules. Obviously, it's against the rules, but if it doesn't matter, then they don't care, you know? But in this case, it's actually like, the, like obviously, the, the Tesla and also the EVs, they outperform fossil cars, and then suddenly they care. So, what do you guys think? Like, these, um, these protesters, they actually have to admit that EVs are better than fossil cars, right? <laughs> Um, but okay, so anyway, I, I should talk a little bit about track mode because mainly the track mode that Tesla has been implemented lately made a huge difference. So um, the track mode, well, by default, if you don't use this track mode, or you know, uh, the car will restrict performance and like driving behavior because it will, you know, kind of it has a default program to make the car safe so you don't crash and die. But on the track, you want to slip a little bit. You want to not be restrained by the safety features uh, as long as you know what you're doing if you uh, uh, then you know track mode will improve track time and one thing it does is it will pre-cool the battery and drive unit so that um, you don't overheat that much and also during the driving it will also cool more aggressively because you can say that my car, for example, uh, it's just a Model X, it doesn't have track mode. When I'm driving, and even if I drive hard, the car will be defaulting to a more economical uh, setting where it will not run the, the compressor that hard. It will allow the battery temperature to go higher. And if, if it's somewhat high, it will just stay high until it reaches some threshold, and then it will start cooling it down. But again, not cool it down enough. So that is, of course, the problem. We've seen before, Tesla's overheat, but according to the video I talked about in the beginning, they could do like six to seven laps without any overheating. Whereas if it wasn't for the track mode, then they could only do like one lap and then they get restrictions in performance. So this also proves that EVs can perform, EVs can outperform fossil cars if they just, like if Tesla just care to tweak it good enough. 
So, yeah. Uh, and also, even if it overheats, they say that if you just take one cool up, like cool down lap, then you're good to go. And then you can run, you can hammer it for several laps before it overheats. So, you know, this again proves that EVs can actually perform well. It's, it's just that the problem until now is that Tesla and other like EV manufacturers, or I mean, rather fossil car manufacturers just happen to have one or a few models. They don't care too much about the performance. Just like, for example, uh, Leaf and Eagle doesn't even have active battery cooling. You know, they just want a car that is economically, they don't want to waste energy cooling down the battery and stuff. Um, and also heard on the, that video, which I still recommend you guys to watch, is that uh, that Model 3 was mostly stock. Like they haven't done two crazy modifications. Um, uh, and also they say that if they put on the bigger rear spoiler and some, uh, did some weight reduction, maybe took out the, the back seat and just took out stuff to make the car lighter and put some whatever to get more downforce and grippier tires or whatever, you know, then they could even <laughs> make the time better. And that time was already the best in class. So, um, and they also said that um, uh, that track they draw on was mostly high speed. You can see on the footage that the, there was like mostly high speed runs. I was like, whoa, that fast. And that is all actually somewhat a disadvantage for, for a Model 3 and a Tesla because um, uh, fossil cars, when they're driving at those speeds, they can have higher gear. You know? We only have fixed reduction gear. So he says that if we did this on a track with lower speed, then the Model 3 performance with track mode would just beat the other ones by far. And that got me thinking, <laughs> Tesla or someone should go to Norschleife. Nürburgring, yeah, it's that track in Germany, well-known track, uh, and they should modify uh, a Model 3 performance. Maybe do some of those tweaks, you know, take out, take out uh, unnecessary weight, maybe put the roll bar, roll cage, whatever, uh, yeah and then hire Sabine Schmitz or someone, a professional race driver, and then close down the track and then set a track time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it would be a good track time. It would be like in the highs there with, the, with many of the fast uh, fossil cars. So um, yeah, anyway, I think that's my two cents about this case. It's just bullshit. <laughs> these guys, these losers, they can't stand being losers. They can't, they won't accept that EVs are superior. And now finally we see slowly that the proper EVs like Model 3, lightweight, high performance, can beat fossil cars. Up until now we had like Model S and X, which are big family cars. Yeah, so anyway, remember, can't fight the future, man. <laughs> so that's it for now then. Talk to you guys later.